and welcome back to the Oracle Boat Shop. My name's Rod. So our last episode, episode 10 on building Elfin here, I got the framing in for the fore and aft uh, compartments. In this episode, we're going to work on making the panels that will be the vertical face and the top. And that means making some patterns. So let's get to it. So it's time to build the bulkhead wall. I'm going to need to take a pattern here. In boat building terms, we refer to it as spiling. I'm just going to glue a whole bunch of scrap door skin plywood, 1 8 plywood together here. A little bit of way too much backlight from the open shop door there, so uh, we'll get a better view here. Now that my glue gun is good and hot, we're going to stick some pieces on here, indicating I don't really need the top of it, because I can easily, once I get it in there, I can scribe the back edge of it, but I need to know a few points on here where the chines are especially. So I'm just using some scrap ply, hot glue gun, stick them on where I need. We'll get a few points through here because I'm not 100% sure that the plywood in there is exactly square or flat. So we'll see if there's any curve to this plywood here. what our fit looks like. But I think that is the way that it came out. So really, it's not bad. We're gonna put little bevels on the back side to match the planking when I cut it out of the marine ply. There's an angle on here. But just with my points, I think we need to round off those corners. But this is way too wide. That's how wide it should be. And then these corners need to be rounded off for the fillets in the bottom. So when I make this out of the good marine plywood, I'll just make it a bit tall. I can scrape the back and trim it off. But I think we're pretty close once we do the angles a little bit. Might be hitting a little bit up high here. Probably just take some off now just to see how that's going to drop down. We're seeing light on this side, but it's pretty close to touching on the back side. So, uh, what is the there? All right, I'm happy with that fit. Now I'm just going to trim. I'm going to leave a little extra because I can just plane off the top. Just using some leftover. Uh, door skin, cheap ply, 1 8 ply that I had for making patterns for the actual planking and lo and behold one of these that I just happened to pull off the shelf which is darn near the right shape. I mean we can add a few millimeters up in here but uh, it's not going to require too much in the way of an adaptation.
is uh, built. Time to seal everything up with a couple of coats of epoxy today and get on to painting. This area theoretically is uh, watertight, but if water does get in there and heats up, it's going to want to evaporate somewhere and I don't want any moisture sitting in here starting to lift veneers on the plywood. I mean it is marine plywood, but uh, you know, this is still going to happen over the course of time. So. I'm just going to hit the uh, inside of these compartments first. I'm not going to do the whole boat right yet. I'm going to do that later. I'll come back and uh, clean that many empty drips in a minute.
yesterday when I put in the panel, I just put what I call a tack well down there because when I put the fillets in here, I didn't want the panel moving back and forth. So now it's time to sort of use my caulking gun and squeeze in a whole bunch of gunk in the corners here. So depending on the size of the fillet that you're looking to try and accomplish, it's always best to put in a lot more epoxy and filler than necessary. It's just a lot easier to swipe off the excess than it is to add more later. So it may look like a bit of overkill here, but we're going to clean it up. Here. I don't think I really need that big of a fillet in there. And now that the uh, panels are made and the vertical portion of the compartment uh, sealed in place, I have the deck pieces made, but I got to move on to completely making sure that this is waterproof so that uh, plywood over time is not going to start to show any cracking and wearing from uh, moisture. So I'm going to move on to scuffing and sanding and painting and inside these compartments. And that's what we'll get to in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Do give me a thumbs up or share the video with somebody who might be interested in watching this uh, build. Take care. See you next time.